The two biggest police departments in the state are trying to find the next recruits to serve their communities. Minneapolis and St. Paul are using different tactics to gain interest at a time when applications are down across the country. One is leaning into technology, the other leaning on the community. Here's WCCO's Jennifer Merrily. Minneapolis police needs more officers. Our hiring plan it is going to last many years, obviously. We're trying to rebuild a department that suffered a, a substantial loss. Commander Grant Snyder says they hold events around the state and country. We're looking for people that are, that are innovative, people that are thoughtful. And is taking a new direction, relying on community partners. We're bringing along people from the community to, to sort of help address concerns that people might have. And stand there with us, shoulder to shoulder. How do you find the people who want to be part of this department at, at this time? They know that we're not defined by things from the past. It's a great time to come on, you know, because they're really going to be a part in building the new MPD. One, 993 arriving. St. Paul is taking another approach with the help of technology. One of the things we realize we need to do better is, is talk about all the different things that we do. In under three minutes, this drone video highlights the opportunities offered, says Deputy Chief Troy Green. Our motto, right, for our recruitment is be you with us. And he says it gives officers and others a tool to recruit for their own department. We want somebody that wants to help people, right? We want somebody that wants to work side by side with our community. In the Twin Cities, Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Minneapolis needs at least 200 more officers to get to the minimum for staffing. St. Paul is authorized to hire about 60 more. The deadlines to apply are before the end of the year, and we have more details at WCCO.com.